Welcome to Top Crew Aviation. This is your Captain P.K. Yadav. Now, we would discuss about item number 8, which is for flight rules and type of flight. This item indicates both flight rules and type of flight. Flight rules are important due to different regulations, weather, and separation minimums for IFR and VFR flights. We have to insert one of the following letters to denote the category of flight rules which the pilot intends to comply with. Options are India for IFR, Victor for VFR, Yankee for IFR first, then VFR. This will indicate to ATS that during the flight, a pilot will call for IFR flight cancellation. Next is Zulu for VFR first, then IFR. This will indicate to ATS that during the flight, a pilot will call for changing to IFR, which will require ATC clearance from ATS. Why do we need ATC clearance? Because ATC would involve in IFR flights. Let's understand it with the example to make it more clear. Let's say we are flying from Delhi Papa November to Bravo 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 and route is Alpha 474 Pratapgarh VFR. This is how you would get it in your exams and flight rules are given Yankee. Question would be, you reach Pratapgarh. You make a call by calling concern ATC. How do we choose ATC and call them? We would understand in later chapter. Answer would be, like when you see this question, you reach Pratapgarh and it was mentioned in route like Alpha 474 Pratapgarh VFR and answer how we would be transmitting back to the ATC cancelling my IFR changing over to VFR so because it was mentioned flight rules Yankee it was clearly visible like over Pratapgarh we have to change like from IFR to VFR. So this is how we make a call like cancelling my IFR changing over to VFR. I hope it is clear. In case of any kind of confusion guys do let me know. Now like after inserting flight rules we would insert one of the following letters to denote the type of flight if required by the appropriate ATS authority. What are the options? Uh, let me make you my trick how I do remember like Sarojni Naidu Mary ex-girlfriend T. So S for scheduled air services, N for non-scheduled air services, M for military, G for general aviation and access for other than the preceding category. So this is what it is about item number 8 guys. I hope you understand. Now, we would discuss about item number 9, which covers about uh, three things. Uh, number of aircraft flying, type of aircraft, and wake turbulence category of aircraft. So now, let's start about number. Alright, so for number entry, it starts from 0 to guys. Because this is uh, for formation flight. So, uh, like if we are not flying in formation, then uh, we will leave it blank. We will not fill it, guys. Basically, we mention it when we fly in formation, which we never do as an schedule operators. So, it is for military or sports exercises. Insert number of aircraft if more than one, as I told you, entry starts from 0 to if it is uh, less than 0 to, we will leave it blank. We can, uh, uh, you know, uh, entry like uh, more than 2, 2 or more than 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
whatever is the number of aircraft which are flying in formation. Now the second thing type of aircraft which would be given by manufacturer's designator like uh, if you fly a uh, Cessna you would mention Cessna 152, Cessna 172, Cessna 150 whatever it is if you fly uh, Boeing 737 you would write Bravo 737 Airbus A320, A380, A330 whatever it is guys then you will mention your wake turbulence category all right so guys note a cow aircraft type designators are presented in a cow dock 8643 you should aware about it for your part 2 exams then you have to add a cow wake turbulence category and uh, before mentioning wake turbulence category we should aware like how do we mention it and what are the categories so guys uh, wake turbulence categories are light medium heavy jumbo super heavy so light is for when your aircraft maximum certified takeoff mass is 7000 kg or less medium is for when it is more than 7000 kg but less than 136,000 kg heavy is for when your weight is 136 hundred kg or more but less than 560,000 kg jumbo is when your aircraft weight is 560,000 kg or more for heavy is A380 only one aircraft all right guys again this is very important for your part one question number five part two DGC exams CPL ATPL both this is easy guys but important so remember it here you go your checklist like subscribe and share